So, dear amigos, dear Eli, ladies and gentlemen, Shalom, Carlos Hirtado, welcome. Uh, it's a great pleasure to host you and your delegations today in Nicosia for uh, this trilateral meeting. I will have the opportunity to cover a thorough agenda in our continuous political dialogue. Our platform has evolved considerably since its inception. The range of issues includes, but is not limited, to energy, defense, emergency response, cyber security, business, and the coordination of our uh, diasporas. This is without doubt a dynamic strategic alliance between partners sharing common democratic values. This is our joint foundation. We also have a shared vision of stability, prosperity, and security in our region and beyond. Today, we have reaffirmed our commitment to propel our partnership to new fields. We agreed on the next steps in preparation of the ninth trilateral summit uh, between our leaders that will be hosted by President Christodoulidis uh, by the end of this year. Ladies and gentlemen, our world is facing growing challenges. The unprovoked and illegal Russian aggression in Ukraine is a clear evidence of that. In such a context, our trilateral cooperation and our project-based synergies provide a much-needed platform for a rules-based code of conduct and efficient and effective diplomacy. The groundbreaking Abraham Accords and the momentum of the Negev Forum have strengthened in our unprecedented way regional integration. These successful examples of regional multilateralism naturally connect to our own trilateral platform, platform and they are useful three to one mechanism with the United States, a mechanism aimed to promote peace, stability, and prosperity in the Eastern Mediterranean. Under this light, we have looked into ways of including Cyprus and Greece in particular, particular negative forum thematics. We have also discussed practical ways to further develop our three to one synergies with tangible deliver deliverables and additional participants. We also confirm our commitment to continue and enhance our close cooperation in the field of energy. Unlocking the full potential of our region will be a game changer. We strive to promote a reliable and sustainable energy corridor from the Eastern Mediterranean buzzing to the, Euro to the, Euro to the European continent. The Eurasia Interconnector and the EastMed Pipeline remain two significant strategic options in our energy agenda. We are confident that their, mater their materialization will entail added practical and geostrategic geostrate value for the Eastern Mediterranean and the European Union. We also had the chance to exchange views on key regional files and on our vital coordination in effective tackling asymmetric threats and terrorism. We referred to the recent terrorist attacks in Israel, which we denounced in the strongest possible terms. We are expressing our unwavering solidarity to Eli, to Israel, and to its people. Especially ahead of the religious holidays of Passover, Ramadan, and Easter, I relate our concern about the increase of violence, underscored the importance of the escalation and of safeguarding the historic status quo in the holy sites of Jerusalem, including in the Christian Orthodox places of worship. In this context, we commended the recent efforts in Aqaba and Sharm el Sheikh and the crucial role played by regional partners such as Egypt and Jordan together with the United States. Dear friends, I had the chance to brief my counterparts on the latest developments in relation to the Cyprus issue and the efforts of President Christodoulidis for the resumption of negotiations, always in line with the agreed framework of a bizonal by communal federation with political equality. We are taking the initiative for, for breaking this unacceptable deadlock. Dear Eli, Dear amigos, 
Once again, it was a privilege to have you here today. I hope that this is the start of many more meetings in this very useful format. I'm looking forward to continuing our close and frank engagement. Thank you. Epharisto Todaraba. Αγαπητέ Κωνσταντίνε, my dear Eli, uh, it's such a great pleasure for me to be in Cyprus today among distinguished colleagues, but please allow me to say among close friends. This is a very special occasion. The three of us meet for the first time since both of you assumed your ministerial duties, but of course I had the pleasure to meet you both on a bilateral basis before. I would like to start by condemning uh, terrorist attacks on Israel in the strongest form. Uh, I'll go on by saying that today we had the opportunity to discuss various issues regarding our trilateral cooperation, but also issues of regional and global significance. We talk about our common steps in the near future, our tripartite cooperation uh, scheme evolving synergies that already have been created on many aspects, digital technology, innovation, energy, water resources, but also I would like to mention the fight against terrorism. Energy was another topic of today's agenda. I had the opportunity to outline Greece's goal of becoming an energy hub by diversifying both its own, but as well as the entire region's supply of gas and supply of electricity. And in this respect, Cyprus and Israel are close partners and they're very important regional players. We welcome developments like the Memorandum of Understanding between the European Union, Egypt and Israel, signed during the presidency of the Republic of Cyprus to the East Mediterranean Gas Forum. They show that the East Mediterranean plays an important role as an alternative energy corridor. We talked about the East Med pipeline, as you would have expected us to do, and also the strategic importance of the Eurasia interconnector between Greece, Cyprus, Israel. Being aware of the challenges in the Eastern Mediterranean region and the wider Middle East, we're actively seeking to consolidate a regional security framework, primarily through dialogue and through cooperation. The East Mediterranean Gas Forum provides an excellent example on how the participating countries are using energy as a catalyst for peace and as a catalyst for cooperation. In this respect, we are open to admitting new members, such as Turkey, of course under the fundamental condition of the respect of international law. We strongly support the 3 plus 1 mechanism, Greece, Cyprus, Israel plus the United States of America. We discussed in depth the situation in Eastern Mediterranean and in particular the latest development on the Cyprus issue. As for Greece, Cyprus issue is a top national priority. On this basis, our close cooperation with Cyprus, we are committed to supporting a just and viable solution for the unification of the island based on the resolutions of the United Nations Security Council, a solution that, as Costantino said, of a bicommunal, bizonal federation compatible with the European acquis. We talked about the situation in Turkey. Following the earthquakes, as you know, we stood and will stand in solidarity. And this is not related to any kind of geopolitical agenda. It is a gesture based on humanitarian grounds in times of huge difficulties faced by neighbor. In this light, Greece, but Cyprus as well, made pledges for the people in Turkey as well uh, Syria in the Brussels International Donors Conference. Regarding Greek-Turkish relations, uh, as you know, we're going through a calm period. We're well aware, of course, that things don't change overnight. We had the opportunity to discuss the situation in Libya. As a neighboring country, we would like to see Libya returning to normality the soonest possible.
free and fair elections are key for the formation of a legitimate and representative government. We do stay concerned about human rights, especially the rights of women. On the Middle East peace process, we are concerned about the situation on the ground and the ever-escalating violence. We hope to see positive developments and certainly the avoidance of further escalation. We had the opportunity to discuss the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and we discussed the European Union-Israel relations. Greece welcomes the resumption after six years of the European uh, Union-Israel political dialogue. Dear Constantine, dear Eli, later on I will have the opportunity to hold bilateral talks with both of you. I remain certain that our cooperation will grow stronger in the future for the benefit of our region, for the benefit of our people. And Constantine, thank you so much for organizing today's successful meeting so early in your ministership. That shows how important this is for you, for President Christodoulidis, and for the Republic of Cyprus. Thank you so much. My dear and close friends, ministers, Konstantinos and Nikos Kalimera. It is a great pleasure to conclude a very fruitful meeting with you in the context of our trilateral format. The warm relations between our three countries are solid and ever growing. Our three countries share the values of liberty, equality, and democracy, and the frequency of Iran King visits is an expression of it. Israel has a strong interest in preserving and strengthening our trilateral form. We emphasize the importance of this regional cooperation in the form of the Hellenic Triangle as well as the 3 plus 1 mechanism with the United States. Yesterday night I spoke with our colleague, Minister Blinken, and spoke with him about the important opportunities in our region and to coordinate a date for our 3 plus 1 meeting. This trilateral cooperation is important for us and we are determined to promote it in various strategic and economic fields. The ability to hold on joint consumption and share insight as well as promoting beneficial trilateral agenda serves the interest of all of us, strengthening all of us and help in stabilizing the region. We are continuing to develop and to deepen our relations with other countries in the region, which could serve as another factor in promoting stability in the Eastern Mediterranean and good relations between sovereign states. This development and it's very important to me to emphasize, will not come in any form at the expense of the warm relations with Greece and Cyprus, which we see those countries as good and close friends of Israel as a strategic relations, which Israel and I personally will develop even more. Israel's principal position on the Cyprus problem we stated in past summits remains the same. We support the negotiation process for a just, comprehensive, and viable settlement in line with the agreed framework. We hope that President Christodolidis' recent initiative to resume the negotiation will be successful in regenerating momentum to the process. Israel stressed the importance of energy collaboration between our countries and together we will explore ways to do a energy synergy and cooperation in our area between our countries. There is also a special importance for cooperations in the field of renewable energy. Israel also welcomed the deep defense cooperation between our countries. 
As a friends, we are willing to share our know-how, our capabilities, and support further strengthening of this field by joint military exercise and procurement. This week, we got another reminder of the terrorist ways of Iran in Athens. Israel relieved and grateful to Greek intelligence and security services that succeeded in preventing the terrorist attack against Jewish and Israel targets. Thank you. This cooperation between our intelligence agency will remain for the stability of our region, for the tourist industry, and the, the fight does not end there. Terrorism is a common enemy and we fight against it. It's our top priority. The government of the Ayatollahs in Tehran export terrorism to the Middle East and to the entire world. Iran is the number one worldwide who finance uh, terror. The Iranian regime is no longer just a regional problem, but a European and a global one as well. And the only way to put a stop to the Iranian nuclear race is through diplomatic and economic pressure and the reliable military threats. My friend, our people-to-people -people relations are at the peak. The Israeli tourist admires the sights and histories of Cyprus and Greece. Of course, we will work to increase even more our tourism relations. I will contribute it in a personal way, which my, I will come with my family this year to Greece or Cyprus. You have a beautiful countries. <coughs> and uh, our wonderful uh, relations with Greece and Cyprus led me to the offer once again to our close partner to take more dominant part in the implementation and deepening of the Abraham Accords, which contribute to the stability and prosperity of our whole region. Dear Konstantinos, Nikos, I appreciate your hospitality and the fruitful meeting that we had during these two days. The relations between our countries will always, will always remain close and strong based on shared value and strategic partnership for many more years to come. Ephrachistopoli. Thank you. Yes. And then you're leaving before lunch. Yeah. Uh, I'm losing your.